We've got a lot of artists here at the studio, and we've gotten some requests for this and a few questions about it too, so we decided to do a few sketchbook flip throughs. We're starting with mine. We're going to be taking a look at the sketchbook that got me into university. The special thing about this sketchbook is that it's actually not what my normal sketchbook looks like. It's been curated to fit a school portfolio. Even then, if I'm being totally honest, it's not my finest work. It's pretty rushed and stiff in my opinion because I was forcing it into that kind of category. So there isn't really much explanation behind a lot of the doodles and things that are in here. It was a lot of me going, will a school curator think this is good enough or does this fit into the criteria that a school would find acceptable? But I can still take this opportunity to tell you what a school portfolio sketchbook should look like. The number one thing is that you want to keep it pretty messy for the most part. A messy sketchbook shows a slew of brain soup splashing on the pages. It shows that you're thinking and throwing ideas around. Only having completely finished things on each page doesn't show a thought process. At that point, it's not a sketchbook, it's a gallery. Have notes strewn about, have a bunch of messy, unfinished studies and thumbnails, have random dumb doodles, they don't always have to be super mature, etc. Your sketchbook can also double as your journal. The second thing is to show a lot of experimentation. Work outside of your style, work with different mediums and unorthodox things, glue in napkin drawings or doodles on paper that you were able to find while you were out and about, so on and so forth. Experimentation shows that you're willing to try new things and have a willingness to learn. I knew a girl who used the smoke from a candle to create illustrations by smudging the smoke residue on the page. It was pretty neat. The third thing is to make sure the sketchbook still shows off your personality. Whether that's a niche you like to work in, your style, or just some of your favorite things, despite the sketchbook needing to be curated for a school, it should still show off some of your qualities and inspirations as an artist. In the sketchbook in particular, you'll see a lot of repeated characters or some designs that ring somewhat familiar to each other, which does show off the niches that I fell into at the time. But yeah, this was my uh, accepted university sketchbook flip through. If you'd like to see some pages from my actual sketchbook, let us know in the comments below. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss an upload. If you'd like to support the channel and the creation of free arts education, become a member on Patreon for working files, behind the scenes posts, and discounts on our class offerings. If you enjoyed this video, here's a couple other videos you can check out next.